Last night, children were killed as they slept next to their parents on the floor of a UN of a classroom in a UN designated shelter. Children killed in their sleep. This is surely an affront to all of us, a source of universal shame. Today, the world stands disgraced. We've visited the site, we've gathered evidence, we've analyzed fragments, we've examined craters and other damage. Our initial assessment is that it was Israeli artillery that hit this school in which 3,300 people had sought refuge. We believe there were at least three impacts. It's too early to give a confirmed official death toll, but we know that there were multiple civilian deaths and injuries, including women and children, and the unregard our guard who was trying to protect the site. These are people who were instructed to leave their homes by the Israeli army. So we condemn in the strongest possible terms this serious violation of international law by Israeli forces. And to be clear, there was no warning. We gave the precise location of the Jabalia Elementary Girls' School and the fact that it was housing thousands of internally displaced people. This was communicated to the Israeli army 17 times, 1-7. This, of course, to ensure its protection. The last of those calls was at 10 minutes to 9 last night, just hours before this fatal shelling. Draw your own conclusions. We're waiting to get a reaction from uh, somebody representing the Israeli government, but I'm sure that they would point out, according to the UN itself, uh, the UN revealed that a cache of rockets was found at one of its schools in Gaza, and that is the third case of its kind. So rockets were being used, it would appear, uh, deliberately in areas that you're trying to protect. Well, several points. First of all, we have on three separate occasions found rockets in schools which were mothballed for the summer and which were empty. They were discovered as a direct result of our inspections. We immediately notified all the relevant parties, strongly condemned the groups that did this as a flagrant violation of our neutrality. Point number one. Point number two, there is absolutely no evidence that we can find so far of militants launching rockets from that school that was hit. And thirdly, I hope when you speak to the Israeli army representatives and spokespeople you're gonna to speak to, ask them when, even if there had been some rockets in that school, was that a justification for a direct hit? I mean, what you'd be accusing them of, and I'm certainly not, is of directly targeting a school where there were 3,300 people. But let me make it clear, we are not saying this was direct shelling. We have simply condemned it. We've identified um, who was who had done this. We've said it's artillery, it's Israeli artillery. But these are points which you need to put to the Israeli army.